Hey, Cody here with Founds Atelier, where I help you achieve your art goals. And today, due to popular demand, I'll be critiquing the work of a Spanish artist, Joaquin Sorolla. In my previous videos, I asked you who you wanted me to critique, and Sorolla's name was at the top of the list. I'm going to share a little about his life, take a deep dive into one of his paintings, and give my opinion of his work, so make sure you stick around. By the way, if you have an artist that you want me to critique in a future video, make sure you let me know. I'd also love to hear what you think about this artist, so comment away below. Okay, well, let's get started. Joaquin Sorolla was born in February 1863 in beautiful Valencia, Spain. His parents died when he was just a child, and he was raised by his aunt and uncle. They were really supportive of his interest in art, and he trained as a teenager under several local artists and got his formal academic training in Rome. After receiving a gold medal for his piece, Another Marguerite, in 1892 at the National Exhibition in Madrid, he quickly gained fame all around Spain. His 1894 piece, Return from Fishing, was a huge hit in the Paris Salon and it really hinted at the style that he would soon become known for. Although he would complete some really big public projects later in life, such as the murals at the Hispanic Society of America in New York City, which you can still go see today, his main focus was painting outdoor scenes with really bright colors and sunlit pictures of his beloved Spain. Paintings such as Beach at Valencia and The Horse Bath are great examples. They were huge in size, featuring bold color, expressive brushwork, and scenes that would have been very familiar to Spaniards living along the east coast of Spain. Sorolla preferred to work outside in plein air whenever possible, even when he was working large. Check out this photo of him painting The Horse Bath. It's huge! How does that thing not blow away like a kite? He was prolific and painted hundreds if not thousands of paintings in his career. For example, in a 1909 exhibition alone at the Hispanic Society, he put on display 356 paintings and sold over half of them. He suffered from a stroke while painting in his garden in 1920, which unfortunately paralyzed him and he eventually died in 1923. Wow, amazing. There's so much more I could have shared about his life and work, but I want to respect your time, so let's get straight to the critique. The piece I'm looking at today is his painting titled Fisherwomen from Valencia, created in 1915. I chose this painting because it combines all of his trademarks, a bright beach scene, portraits of locals, and a love for his hometown. As usual, I will evaluate this piece through three lenses, his technical execution, his composition, and his concept. Let's get to it. Technically speaking, Sroya was a master at the expressive a la prima style approach, which involves creating a painting in one layer, uh, sometimes even in just one session, and using big, bold brushstrokes. Two other world-famous artists at the time, among others, were also known for this method. You may have heard of them, John Singer Sargent and Andrew Zorn. Generally, if you're a fan of those two, you also like Sroya. It combines the fresh, flowy feeling of Impressionism with the structure and drawing gained through academic training. You can see evidence of Soroya's brushwork in the foreground sand and in the loose handling of the subject, subject shoes, feet, and dresses. He does such a great job of handling his color, towing the line between really high saturation and restraint. His colors are bold and kind of intense, but they're not over the top. I love how he is using the complementary color pair of violet and yellow throughout the piece to create a great sense of energy. One of the reasons this is so fun to look at is the variety of edges and textures. He is constantly switching between hard edges and soft edges, such as that hard edge right where the yellow and the white dress meet um, versus the softness and around the women's shoes. You can kind of see how they almost completely blend into the sand. We also see plenty of areas where the textures are built up thick and others where the bare canvas comes through. All of this adds a great amount of interest uh, to the piece and keeps us engaged. Compositionally, the painting is complex as it's cropped 
fairly tight around the three women and their babies. This grouping could get a little chaotic uh, and confusing, but Soroya does a pretty decent job of keeping things organized. He does this through his use of value and color. When we look at a black and white version of this piece, we see that he has done a pretty good job of balancing his high, middle, and dark values. The darks are peppered around evenly throughout, helping to kind of anchor the piece down. The main focal area is definitely the woman on the left. Notice how she is separated out from the others. The yellow and the violet colors in the middle help out with that. Some of the highest value contrast in the entire painting is focused around her head and neck where the warm sunlight is hitting her, um, capturing our attention and creating some wonderful shadows. At first, I have to admit, I wasn't a big fan of how crowded the right half of the painting is, but the more I look at it, I think this was an intentional move to help highlight and isolate uh, the woman in front. Uh, she stands out more than the others. Thankfully, Soroya does give us a bit of visual relief in this piece. Notice he's left us a little gap on the left side of the composition along the woman's arm, allowing our eyes to kind of move and squirt up to the left side and retreat into the background. This is actually really important because without it, the women would form a kind of visual wall blocking us from moving through and into the composition. The tiny people swimming in the background really help provide a reference of scale and depth, which is a nice counterpoint to the large and in-charge women that are right up front. Conceptually, I really like this painting. I think it's strong. Most of Shroya's paintings, when you look at them, are fairly tame. I mean, they're just showing men, women, and children at work or at play. However, this piece has an almost defiant feeling to it. These women, as you can see by um, their baskets, they're pulling double duty here. You know, maybe they're coming to the beach to gather some fish, but notice they're also carrying their babies with them. Uh, in the very background, you notice those kids, they're, they're having fun playing in the waves while these ladies look like they mean business. I love the contrast there. It's almost as if it's like a warning to the young people. Have fun and enjoy the simple things in life when you can before you grow up and have adult responsibilities. I think that we can probably all uh, relate to that. All three of them are looking directly to the left, which makes me wonder what they're looking at. Clearly, something important has their attention. You know, it's kind of rare that an artist will have their subjects looking directly out of the composition, uh, so that's kind of curious. The fact that he identified them as being from Valencia, his hometown, it almost turns them into like a visual representation of the grit and hardworking nature of the people there. Conceptually, Soroya has given us some things to think about with this piece without really revealing the whole story, which I kind of like in a painting. So what do I think of this piece and Soroya in general? Well, being as I'm a Sergeant and Zorn fan, it's not going to be surprising that I like Soroya as well. While his loose style is the same as those other guys, you know, his paintings, they really are a little bit different. They're more intense color-wise, and uh, many of his paintings are just, just huge. Now, I admit I've never seen a proper Soroya painting in person, but I can only imagine that when you, when you step in front of them and they're just so huge in front of you, that scale has to have some type of impact on the viewer. He really captures the feel of being on a beach in Spain, which sounds pretty good right about now. Normally, I try and hold off a final judgment of an artist until I can see some of their work in person, um, but I'm definitely a fan. What'd you think? Do you agree or disagree with my critique? I'd love to chat with you about it. Feel free to leave a comment below and subscribe if you found this video valuable. It's an easy and free way to support my studio. You know, another artist who was popular at the time was French artist William Bouguereau. He had a tighter approach to painting, but it's pretty amazing nonetheless. Click here to check out my critique of him and his work. See you there.